Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back, Star Citizen 3.0. Now, <coughs> if I can stop dying, um, so, there has been quite some hullabaloo uh, over... Uh, uh, quite the contentious subject that is Star Citizen's performance. Now, I am definitely one to criticize the game where I feel criticism is called for, just as I feel, uh, you know, giving credit to the game is due where it's due. Now, Clive Johnson from uh, SIG has gone out and responded to somebody asking questions in relation to uh, Star Citizen's performance. So he goes off and he says, Hi, Bombi. I think that's the person's name. It's B O M B Y. Uh, Clive continues, There are a few myths that seem to get repeated quite a lot. Please allow me to dispel some of them for you. Uh, first item is the graphics pipeline does not wait for server updates. So, what does that mean? Uh, put it quite frankly, uh, the FPS, the frames that you get at any given time, are not dependent on the server. So, the graphics are generated uh, client-side and are not necessarily uh, impacted or impeded by the server. Uh, second, server FPS does not affect client FPS. Now, uh, I feel like that's a little bit, I don't want to say contradictory, but I'm fairly certain I've heard uh, the opposite right from ATV. I could have swore I heard something along the lines of the server was capped at like 30 FPS. Now I don't know if that was only for 2.6. <coughs> ah, sorry. I don't know if that was for 2.6 and prior, um, but I don't think it was because I remember there were a few times in the PU where I've gotten over 30. It was rare, definitely a rare occasion, but it was it was present. It it occurred more than once. Uh, next, netcode does not make clients run slowly and never has. Now, um, <coughs> my god, I am so sorry. Uh, that seems to be the thing, you know, I, apparently, um, there's that frame spike, because uh, I was under the impression uh, netcode does make the client or can make the clients run slowly. Um, now, what's interesting is the next part. It says netcode does not make servers run slowly anymore, even though we've added more clients. Now, hold on a second. That kind of sounds like a complete contradictory of the previous statement. Previous statement just said. Netcode does not make clients run slowly and never has, and yet the next breath literally says netcode does not make servers run slowly, comma, anymore, comma, even though we've added more clients. What? Um, that kind of sounds like he's saying one thing and then walking it back and saying, the, you know, the opposite. Um, and I can't help but think that the netcode making the servers run slowly uh, might have been the misinterpretation <clears throat> that led people to say it was the netcode making the clients run slowly. Uh, I can understand that. Well, no, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Huh? But, no. um, but I, I mean, again, that kind of seems like it's, it's two of the same thing, just said slightly differently. It's like, hey, that <clears throat> tomato's not red. It's violet. It's like, well, what? 
What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's just my stupid ass head. Um. Uh, the next item is you get better performance on newer servers because there are fewer players on them. So your client has to do less work, like physics, animation, IFCS, and entity updates. Okay, so now on that note, <clears throat> that, uh, like, okay, I understand getting better performance on newer servers, A, because they're fresh, B, as it's stated, there's no one in there, so it's only you that you're responsible for. Okay, I get that. But it seems like what it's also saying is that aside from you, other people are also calculating your physics, your IFCS, so on and so forth. Now, I'm not a game developer, I'm not a coder, but that kind of seems like an extra step like an unnecessary step because the way I see it so let's say me and, and Joe Schmo are flying next to each other over uh, Delamar as, as such right let's say he's flying behind me so by that rationale if Joe Schmo is behind me he's calculating my physics as well as his physics and IFCS uh, now but I'm only calculating mine because he's not in my field of view. Wouldn't it make more sense if each client was simply responsible for their own calculations and then they just represent wherever they are in smaller bursts and using that client side, um, I think it's client side, client server prediction or something like that. I heard it in a board gamers video. Um, to me, that seems like it would make more sense. So that way, it's, you know, everybody is computing their own, but wherever I'm going, it's still representative in form of a, uh, a coordinate location. I don't know. I, I think that would make more sense. Because um, then it, in the next thing, it says players hacking the game to play PU in offline mode get better performance than they do online because their clients don't have to deal with all the load generated by 49 other players which again i think the way that word is worded seems to me as though it's touching on exactly what i just said it seems as though they're saying oh well that's because you're computing the whereabouts and functions of 49 other people as well as yourself uh that seems a little backwards i think uh i i think each client should be responsible for their own calculations and then just check it Oh, new patch is out. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. I'm going to install that next, and I will hopefully have uh, a video out on the uh, performance and if that patch, uh, what that patch brings to the table, if it's any better, uh, and how that all goes. So, uh, moving on. Now, uh, Clive goes on to say, what is so hard about fixing the performance problem is that the game is pushing the engine way beyond what it was designed to handle. Now, I don't know about you, but if that was supposed to make me feel better, it doesn't. <laughs> that actually kind of just makes me nervous for the state of uh, Star Citizen. Because <clears throat> um, then he goes on to say, Fixing that means fundamentally changing how systems work while simultaneously trying not to break everything in the game that uses them. Big performance gains that require making big changes take time. Sometimes we have to do a lot of restructuring before we can even start working on an optimization. Making all these changes can introduce a lot of bugs and fixing those take even more time. Let's also not forget that performance is not the only goal here. We're also trying to achieve fidelity levels not seen before. Fidelity is often the enemy of performance, so we find ourselves having to optimize even further than we otherwise would have to. <clears throat> now, with that, uh, <coughs> I, I can already tell that more or less with every subsequent patch, uh, they have been making gains. Uh, I can say, from my experience, just about every other or every single patch, minus a couple of outliers, 
uh, have given some sort of better performance. Whether it be more stability where it doesn't crash every time a spike would happen, or the frequency of the spikes have gone down, or about 50% of the time I get into a server that has nice buttery smooth frames. So I am seeing, you know, there is progress being made slowly, but surely it is being made. Um, so I can say with relative certainty, we will be able to get there to, a, you know, where it's going to be nice and smooth, hopefully a constant 30, uh, the goal obviously being 60 or more, but uh, a lot of that... <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, I need a drink. Sorry about that. I might be coming down with a cold. My throat's really dry. <clears throat> okay. So as I was saying before my body my body so rudely interrupted me. Um So according to Board Gamer's video, he said, you know, oh well, if we cut the, the player cap back down to 24, then you'd be able to see these gains and how far we've come with the performance. So, why don't we? Uh, now, before <clears throat> you start typing away, okay, I understand it's, we're also testing more play, uh, player count in the servers for, um, you know, trying to make it more of the wider, you know, getting in the, um, what was it, the shard servers or the joint servers where everybody is in essence in, in one instance on different servers all around. Um, but we're not there yet. Personally, I would actually much rather, and I am a huge proponent for knocking the server count down back to 24 so we can take advantage of these frames and get the real meat and potatoes of testing done. And from there, move on to player count and optimizations. Up, you know, upping the player count and optimizing that. Uh, I kind of feel it's a little counterproductive pushing both envelopes at the same time because one of them is going to fall. And since we have our hands, <clears throat> well, they have their hands on both. You can't catch them. You know, or, whereas if you're pushing the envelope at one, you can catch it with the other if something were to go down. You know, hypothetically, of course. Who knows? Maybe they're you know, fucking Goro, and they've got a bunch of arms. I don't know. Uh, they have enough employees. I hope they have a bunch of arms, metaphorically speaking. Um, but, as you can see, there was a new patch that just came out. Um, supposedly, that's also going to have network optimizations. Now, a couple of notes on that. Uh, Will Oprah Leverett posted uh, about five hour, four hours ago now, it's about 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, stated... You know, hello everyone, QA is testing uh, Star Citizen Alpha 3.0684185, which is the patch that just popped up on the screen, if you uh, were astute enough to catch it. Um, he also goes on to say, this build includes critical <coughs> pieces of network-related code that we will need to test extensively tonight, should we make it to the PTU deployment phase, which they obviously have. So that makes me excited. That means that the next patch that I'm about to download and install hopefully has some much needed network optimizations. Um, so you can plan on the video coming out quickly, or relatively, or comparatively at least, um, kind of attempting to compare and contrast the differences in the patches uh, performance wise, if there's any new content. Uh, or at least anything that's uh, flagrantly apparent. <clears throat> um, and, yeah. So that's kind of my thoughts uh, as of right now. I, I really feel like they're kind of focusing some of their optimizations in the wrong areas. Um, so I don't think having a 50-player uh, server... I don't think this was the right time to introduce that with the amount of testing that we need to kind of get, you know, the meat, of, meat and potatoes out the way in terms of gameplay function, functionality, abilities, uh, mechanics, things of that nature. I think they should have waited until 3.1 um, or at least until closer to live release to get those out the way 
uh, as it really does seem like there's a lot of pieces that, um, you know, come together to make this, which it is. Um, I'm just hoping that those network improvements come sooner than later, because speaking from experience, it is very, very difficult uh, to test when, you know, you're flying along or you're walking along and, you know, every third movement or keystroke or whatever is ignored due to the lag. Or when it's at, you know, sub 10 FPS, I mean, it's just, it's unbearable. You know, admittedly, you know, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it sucks, but I'm not ignorant to what's going on. I know that there's a lot of back end, under the hood things going on to make this all stuff, you know, work. I've seen some of the videos where there's hundreds of pieces that go into just one, uh, you know, I guess mechanic, if you want to call it that. I'm not sure the correct terminology at this moment. Uh, I had to record this video twice because the first one got all sorts of fucked up. I didn't like it. But I wanted to talk about the optimizations, especially as of late, where uh, a certain gremlin uh, used my video uh, as a naysay and a detractment from the game. Again, there are definitely criticisms and well-rooted criticisms to be had. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to white knight the game and say, oh, it's, you know the best thing ever and this and that da, da, da. but for me this game is a lot of fun being able to go to the different planets and whatnot um so i really 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 hope that the optimizations come sooner than later that way we can get the more important testing out of the way instead of having to bear with just these these almost grinding to a halt uh views so I think I'm going to leave the video right around here. What do you guys think? Um, you know, how have, how's your performance been if you're in 3.0? Uh, has it been mainly good? Has it been a mixed bag? Has it been mainly bad? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I want to try to get uh, everybody's input on this. See if maybe we can figure out some stuff, put our heads together, maybe try to do some extra testing. We can all party up, try to do, you know, uh, focused larger tasks. Uh, I was online earlier trying to get everybody to go to Levski to do some testing to try to uh, do some things, but people are just being really, really uncooperative. Uh, one guy in particular was like, oh, I'll leave the testing to SIG and this and that and the employees. And it's like, dude, this is the PTU. T stands for testing. That's what we're here for. We're not here to play. I mean, yeah, we got, we're here to play. But it's for testing purposes, and everybody luckily got on my side for that. Uh, well, mostly everybody. There were a few who were like, no, -uh, it's the play. It's like, well, obviously you're fucking dumb. Um, so I, I'd like to get a group of people together who are actually intent on testing so we can try to test some of these bigger functions like spawning a bunch of large ships, caterpillar starfarers, um, you know, and ju just so they can get the metrics on that. Because according to what they put out, you know, just playing and getting it to grind to a halt like that and having it act a little funky, you know, sends them metrics and information that they can then use to work on to make it better. Um, so again, let me know uh, what your guys' experience was down below. Um, I've got a, an X52 SciTech on the way. That my girlfriend bought me for my birthday. Love you, babe. Uh, that should be arriving tomorrow. Uh, I do plan on doing a video about it, uh, about its setup, uh, functionalities. It's actually a HOTAS. I don't know if I said that. I'm getting the HOTAS uh, X52 SciTech, uh, which I'm really excited about. Um, today is my birthday, the 11th. Happy birthday to me. Um, so, yeah, expect that uh, I will have a video coming on the HOTAS. I will have a video coming on the new patch that I'm about to download, subsequently ending uh, this video. Um, and other than that, I think that's basically all. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like down below. If you've got suggestions for... Things that you'd like to see uh, in the next upcoming episode, leave them down below. If you got questions, comments, concerns, 
let uh, let them rip. Let me hear them. Uh, I always try to respond to anybody who who uh, comments. Sometimes YouTube doesn't tell me about it, so I have to manually go back and dig through all the comments. Uh, but I'll get to you. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> uh, let me let me get out of here before I end up in Carl Sagan's hamper. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm intent on using that. I really am. I thought that's absolutely hilarious. Um, <clears throat> if you didn't know the, uh, if you don't know the reference, I was talking in another video, like, oh, what would be the Star Citizen space equivalent to Davy Jones' locker? And I came up with Carl Sagan's hamper. So you can use that if you'd like, because I think that's hilarious. So you can have that one for free. Um, so all you beautiful bastards out there, have yourselves a wonderful day. This has been Will. Peace.